This video will guide users through the new process of creating a plan only or plan it and profile scroll plot for plan development. Creating scrolls is done through the same process as creating D sheets. Place name boundaries. This can be found in the Open Roads Drawing Production workflow, in the Drawing Production ribbon, right here. Select Place Name Boundaries. So we have two new drawing seeds here. We have the Plan Only Scale Scroll, 100 Scale Scroll, and the Plan Only. And we have the, uh, there's also a Plan and Profile Scale, 100 Scale Scroll. So those are, those are the tr two new seeds. So we're going to do the 100 Scale Scroll for this example. Uh, we have it default to 200 inches for the length. Uh, that is the uh, maximum length of a scroll that can be used for Adobe. Um, in order to change the scale, you're going to need to adjust the sheet port length, this length here. And you'll use this table here to use the different lengths based on the different uh, lengths that you've got here. So we st goes starts at 200 normal, then we can go down to 199, and then it goes down by a foot, all the way down to 12 feet, or tw 12 inches for a foot. So you got one foot, three foot scrolls, etc. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and create one that is shorter so I can show you the process of modifying it when you do create one that is shorter. So I'm going to do a 120 inch scroll here. So that's going to be 11,835. So now we have that in there. That'll place the ports at the correct size. So now we're going to go ahead and just like the other ones, I'm going to select the alignment. Let's give it a start station. It'll zoom out here so you can kind of see. So as we go here, we get, it'll just generate them as we go. So we're just going to create one here. We're going to make sure that we have the dra create drawing selected. So it creates the drawing. And we'll accept it. it brings up the create drawing dialog doing a plan, we're doing the plan only, 100 scale scroll, so all this should come in correct. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the sheet index so we can get the CPN to fill out and I can show you where that's at. And we're going to open the model once it's done. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. It's going to take a second here to create the model and the sheet model. Go ahead, click check in on that box, check the sheet index back in after it's been added. So as you can see here, it comes in shorter. This is the, it comes in normally at the 200 inches. So in order to get this sheet border to change properly to the correct size, we need to come in here and we click on sheet boundary. And again, that's in your open roads drawing production workflow, drawing production ribbon. That's going to bring up our sheet boundary, and this is where we are going to edit here. We're going to edit in the size here. We're going to select custom, and from here we're going to change it to inches. So the height, we want it to be 36 inches, and the width, this one we can go ahead and just use the 120 inches. Click OK, and you see that sh shrunk that border down now. Then, what we need to then do is select this and bring this in to the correct spot. I need to bring that in here and go there. And now you've got your sheet border to the correct size. 
and then we have our CPN data here on the left and as you can see that fills in automatically with all of our sheet information from our sheet index get a get your sheet number here open it for edit first always forget to do that move the plan sheet into the D sheets we might have to come back out and come back in to get it to update and there we go yep, now it's updated to the D4 and then now that we have our scroll created I'm going to come in here we're going to make the index back to read only check it in I wanted to go ahead and print off this scroll sheet here let's so come in here we're going to open up print organizer I'm just going to select the one I want to print and now in print organizer we have a new scroll actually no we don't use print organizer that's, that's correct I forgot here we are not using print organizer this one, this one we're going to use the print dialog so we're going to come in here, it's a file, the file tab ribbon, and then we're going to go into print and print. And then in here, we now have our 36 inch black, white, small raster PDF here. That's the scroll is the one you're going to be using. And then we have our sizes here. This is 36 by 120. We have our different paper sizes that you can choose here. Then you just go ahead and select print to file. And we're just going to... Alright, we're going to go ahead and save that. So you can see how long it takes here to print normally for just this is just a 120 inch scroll so a 10 foot scroll All right, it's completed printing. So we've got our test PDF in here. And there we go, we've got our, as you can see here, 120 inch by three foot scroll. And that should cover creating the scrolls in ORD.